What is up, everybody? Madcap here, and welcome back, question mark, I guess, to Home Sweet Home. This is episode two. Uh, we did the first part last year, and they've got episode two up in time for this campaign of terror. So I cannot wait to see. I hope they've made some refinements and improvements to it, because it was a fun game, but there are a lot of weird bugs and issues, so I don't know. I'm assuming stuff like that will still be present this go around, but eh, you can always hope, right? Uh, but yes, this is the last two roughly-ish weeks of October. I like to cram all of the horror games into that little two weeks there and just have fun enjoying October, Halloween, just the spookiness of the month. And uh, that's what I like to do. So fret not, all of your games that I've been airing uh, will be returning November 1st. So they're not gone. This is just a temporary thing. So if you don't like horror games, maybe go hide in the closet for a little while. Get under your blankets and just stay safe there. Because we're holding nothing back. This is all about being terrified. So turn the lights off and enjoy the ride. Let's start the game here. It starts nice and loud. The spooky menu. Um, I don't know where my mouse is. I guess they don't allow you to use it in the menu. So we're just going to go with new game. Let's see what happens. I have my camera settings set from the last home sweet home, so oh, I hope that's still Tim? the right place. Hey, Hello? Tim. Oh, uh, Jane? is that the wife? Hey, it's Stu. Uh, is Tim there? He hasn't been answering his cell. Oh, 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 hello, Stu. Um, no, no, Tim's not here. He left early today. Something came up and he rushed out. He said he'd call me when he was done, but he hasn't called yet. He must be really busy. What? Really? It's Song Cran Day and he's still working? Uh, I thought you two made plans to spend your Song Cran at Chiang Mai. <laughs> we were supposed to. Oh, we packed last night and everything, but then this thing came up and you know Tim, he's all about his job these days. He said he'd be quick. I don't think we can make it now, but whatever. What did you want to talk to him about? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, nothing really. I was going to ask you guys to buy me some stuff from Chiang Mai, but I guess you're not going anywhere for the holidays then, huh? I guess not. Well, I'll keep myself busy, though. Can I look? Oh, I've my God, I can. I've been to do some gardening in the yard. Who am <laughs> Maybe I? Maybe it's the time. <laughs> well, that sounds fun. And I wouldn't worry about Tim too much. He just got promoted, and he's very excited about it. As for me... I'm not doing anything over the holiday either. So, hey, if you need a hand with your gardening, <gasps> Ooh. just to call away. <laughs> yeah, he'll help you with your oh, gardening, I'll be all right. Fine. I wouldn't want to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a bother. That's what friends are for. But anyway, I, I better get going. I'll talk to you soon, though. Okay, thanks, Do. Bye. Bye. Thanks, dude. Bye, Do. Who am I? Hello. Are you dead? I don't actually remember what happened now in the last we're catching game. Up on traffic accidents. Unfortunately, the number of traffic accidents during this year's Song Cran Festival is not Jeez, less than last year's. Despite police using drink drive charge as a preventive measure, 53,542 arrests have been reported. The greatest cause of accidents is motorcycles, then public transportation and personal vehicles respectively. Over 37,000 charges have been filed and more than 900 vehicles have been impounded. There are already 603 accidents reported. 603? Today. That's a large number. I want to make sure she doesn't disappear on me or something. Hey, we get back here. Is it do again? Damn it, do. Hello? <laughs> Hi. It's a nightmare. It's so real. Man. I really hope I don't need to remember what happened in the last one. Because I do not. So. <laughs> whoops. My head. Oh, I can't look around. Everything's spinning. Oh, WSD, look. Well, that's cool. They just put it on the window. Huh. That's actually really clever. Okay, I can look around. Hey, look, there's a thing here. I don't know what that white bar means up top. I must have missed clicking on it, though. 
Oh, it's E. Oh, okay. I, I'm used to Visage, I guess. I've been playing Visage. I just finished that one recently. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna have to get used to these controls all over again. <laughs> so there's a key and a J. Down... I guess by the dining room table, it looks like. Okay, so we don't want to miss that. Uh, quit is Q. Q? Alright. Oh, I have B, at oh, least. So thirsty. One more drink couldn't hurt. That's what right. they always say, buddy. Right, look, you've even got one here. You're all ready for it. You got two here. Just one more drink. It can't hurt. E. Oh, I don't exist. Whoa, that is a weird mirror. It's like it's reflecting until you get in front of it and it just turns into a dark mass. Cannot use the shower curtain. Okay. Just close that behind me. We interact. Somebody left a bottle in front of the door. It's empty, brother. Why is that guy shook it so much? It's like, no, there's nothing in there. So he tips it over. There's nothing in there. Let me shake it again. Yeah, there's nothing in there. <laughs> oh, dude. My man. My man. I don't think you need one more. I'm here to see that you don't get one more. I Actually, I probably have no say in it, but whatever. What's that? I, it's weird. I cannot look all the way down. I... Yeah, I, I can't look... I, I'm stuck at, like, an angle looking down. So to pick up this piece of paper, I can't walk up to it and look down. I have to back up. Can I even... I don't even think I can pick that up, actually. It's it's too far away from my short arms. Damn it! Wait, why does it sound like that's coming from up here? Hello? Well, oh, oh, guess it was the wrong number. All right. What is that? Uh, I have no idea what that thing is. Panic spread through crowds today when a solar eclipse took place without any official announcement from scientists or astronomers. What? Latest figures show that the phenomenon began at 10 a.m. when Can the moon down? began its transit across the sun. The eclipse will be complete at 12 p.m., <laughs> then it will leave sight by 2 p.m. This year's eclipse will persist for as long as the one that occurred in 2002. Meanwhile, Royal Thai Police Commissioner General Prayut Jantra has ordered that all areas be secured by officers who will also be directing traffic. Oh, I can't. As traffic Fair jams much. are likely with citizens coming out to witness the phenomenon. This will allow for local vendors to pitch their stall. Eclipse sunglasses are now the most sought-after items during this event. Experts urge you to avoid using normal sunglasses or looking Wait. directly at the sun, as it can perilously I'm confused. They said it happened unexpectedly in panic at the street, yet they're saying or films that these are super popular during the events. are highly recommended. The Astrology Association of Thailand, on the so other hand, weird. predicts that the changing of the moon is an ominous event that could lead to chaos and violence. Hey! Oh, the picture, I remember that. It keeps going down. Hey, dude, is that you? Hey, Tim. What's up? I've been trying to reach you, man. Yeah? Uh, did you turn off your phone? No, it's been here the whole yeah, time. Your colleagues, they're worried about you. And so am I. You really need to take it easy with the drinks. Nah, you aren't young anymore. About. Look, man, I'm here if you need to talk. We all want you to be yourself again. We're rooting for you. That's not what the subtitles say. The subtitles say you're pulling for me. Um. Hmm. That's another bathroom. I need beer. Where's my kitchen? I should go get the key right now before I forget about it, shouldn't I? Kitchen! Okay, let's grab the key. Crouch stand. Hey! 
Picture? I'm watching you. You stay there. Don't you go falling down again. Uh, crouch stand. Why do I need to do that? Wait, that's a C. You who uses C for crouch? Somebody that's gross, that's who. No self-respecting PC gamer do C as crouch. Uh, key? Are you there? I don't have a flashlight, do I? No, okay. Mm. I mean, here's the dinner table. It should have been right here, shouldn't it? Huh. Alright, maybe we need a drink first. A picture? I told you picture. One more time. Don't you do that. I'm watching you. Yeah, that's right, picture. You know who's boss here. Ah! Ah! I see what you're doing. Yeah, can't trust a picture anymore. Uh, okay, well, I'm not getting a beer from here, apparently. What's this? It's a ladder. A small ladder for accessing things behind or on a cabinet. Great. Wait, I got it? I, I actually get... Oh, cool. I have a stepladder now. Is there a cabinet I need to access something? Maybe. Is there something up here I need to access? Okay, well, can I use... How do I use it? Objective, find Jane. That's a pretty broad objective. Key item, small ladder. Huh. I don't know that I can actually use that. It's probably something... Probably something that gets prompted to use, I would imagine. What is this? <gasps> Key! I found you! A key ring that contains spare keys for emergency use. Great! I don't know if this is an emergency, but... I will take it nonetheless. Um... I think we're done there. No more calls from Dew. Okay, let's look in here. Close you. That way nobody can spook up on us. What is this? Letter of suspension? Oh no! Uh, July 5th, how do I... Oh, oh, there we go. Doesn't say anything about moving up and down. July 5th, 2013, subject to suspension order. Dear Mr. Chachai Tubloy, employee ID 310-94, Department of Production Technology. It has come to our attention that you have violated company policy by being absent from the workplace for an exceeding amount of time. Your conduct as described constitutes sufficient cause for disciplinary action. Normally, this conduct would result in termination from your position without severance pay. However, given your otherwise exemplary service and assistance to the company, your termination has been reevaluated to suspension for an indefinite amount of time. Please be informed accordingly that your suspension commences July 8, 2013, and is effective until further notice. W.N. Disciplinarian. Wichisiri Nunamani, Vice Chairman. I am hereby acknowledged. Cool. I am disciplined. Uh, you can do it! Uh, well, that's good to know. Can I actually sit in the chair? No, I thought I saw a little dot above it. Oh, it must have been the bottle. Right. What are you doing moving over there, bottle? Why did it look like I had a bottle in my hand already? That was weird. Ah, now I feel better. better. Okay, what do we got? Royal Thai Police, daily report file. Oh, that's me. 34 years resides at number 12 Mu, 6 Paknam Buang, Samut Prakan. Came to police station and reported that on May 29, 2013, at 3.30 a.m., he found out that Miss Nitherinia went missing and hasn't been found yet. What he found is Miss Nitherinia's room led him to believe that an assault had taken place. This report will be used as evidence of his presence at the scene. Huh. Okay. Contact. Contact list of people that Jane would probably go to. Hmm. Do 
Do I go upstairs and use the key now? Ha! Ah, picture has learned its lesson. Good job, picture. I wish I could pick that up. Oh, whatever. Yes! Key. Go. Do I have to crouch to pick stuff up? Oh, that's weird. Jane's Diary, April 10th, 2013. Front page, the same old excuse. All that socializing, it's all for a brighter future. How long do you have to keep drinking it all away, my dear? Back page. At least he promised we'd be enjoying Songran at Chiang Mai together. More importantly, he said firmly that nothing could stop this trip from happening. Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> all I can think of is Puffy Ami Yumi for that. Except that's high, 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 I think. Anyway, where should we go? Splashing around at the Chiang Mai moat? Or should we go to the... To the Tha Fei Gate? My main goal is to get to Doi Suthep to pay respect to Buddha. Tim might be a little annoyed, but I'm totally tagging along with him. <laughs> yes, that's right. Jane's Diary. Wow, we're getting deep into the reading. We haven't even done anything yet. That was the worst dream ever, waking up to find myself in the middle of the dark forest, surrounded by the rotting bodies of animals and people. It was awful. That setting makes me want to throw up. What makes me have dreams like this? Like, like... What makes me have dreams like this? What is that chanting sound echoing in my head? I can still smell that stench. That's right, she was crazy, wasn't she? Uh, back page. Before I woke up, I remember walking up to a wooden house. The house was full of wooden figures. There was a body inside. A shirtless man with his stomach cut open. His organs were piled up on the ground. His body looked like a beast had torn into him, or torn him open. Why do I have to see these things like this? Why do I have these dreams? Why, Jane? Why me? I don't know, Jane. I don't know. Close that damn door. You know the rules. Hi, Teddy. Oh, who's a good bear? Oh, who's another good bear? I'm gonna call you gray. I'm gonna call you brown. Uh, tab? Notebook. My little book of happiness! A diary written by Jane. Tab, notebook. Find Jane. We already looked through this, so... I'll just do what it says, though. Whoa, what the heck? Does it know I have the game installed? It's weird that you can't use the mouse. I just have to keep hitting W up. Huh, I did not pick up that many notebooks yet, so or diary pieces yet. Where does this go? We'll never know. Huh, oh, okay. Cannot control the camera. What the hell? Don't know, mate. It's getting worse. That's what happens when you drink 83 <sighs> bottles of beer. You end up on the floor. 83 bottles and Tim's on the floor. 83 bottles and Tim's down. Where are we? <laughs> I hear a bird. What forest is this? The dark forest, perhaps. <coughs> How did I get here? I don't know, Tim. You're a pretty messed up individual. Damn, it's dark. I can't see a thing. Reminds me of the place Jane mentioned in her diary. It reminds me of Outlast. Where am I? I don't know. Uh. I don't actually know how to save in this, so that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to watch for a saving symbol see if I can figure that out. <laughs> I, it's no fault. Oh, I gotta be careful of flashlight grabbing scenes. Um, it's no fault of... I almost said dread out. Of Home Sweet Home. But it's, I always find it so convenient in horror games that you, you end up in some super dark place and then randomly right in front of you is a working flashlight. It's... It's always so convenient. Oh god, I thought that was a guy peeking out from behind there. Don't you peek at me, mushrooms. Do I have batteries? What was that? I hear you scraggling around the bush over there. It's a pig. What kind of animal could have done this? Probably a predator. I would imagine. Or a guy that was really hungry for pork. Either way. 
hold shift to run. Uh, go. Okay. Hi. I like how I'm doing most of these things before it tells me. Like shift running out of a dark forest. Sounds like a good thing for me to do. On September fourth, nineteen fifty-nine, the strange happenings of Bon Time Village persist and are still observed by frightened local residents. Villagers reporting hear livestock screaming during the night and find the bodies of the slain animals in the morning. Clear laundry hung out to dry overnight appears in the morning to be filthy and covered in blood stains. Oh. Mysterious lights roam the distant darkness as if it were alive. The Maybe people of me. the town are terrified and lock themselves in their house as soon as the sun sets. Some of the villagers have even assembled crude fences made from the branches of a monkey apple tree, <laughs> believing a superstition that such a fence around their home will protect them from the something that is behind these mysterious occurrences. Local authorities are still pursuing all leads to determine the cause of these happenings as they struggle to comfort the local populace. A source has told us, however, that if the events continue to escalate, then the local officers may be forced to call in the provincial Whoa. authority to oh, lend yeah. a hand. Radio? Damn it, radio? I was listening to that. Okay, I'm just going to turn you off. What is this? First piece of a mysterious photograph. Huh, is that Jane? Alright. I guess we'll be heading uh, where that fine individual you was running to. What does this say? Welcome! home. Ah, that's pretty clever. Welcome to home. It could almost say home sweet because there's an S there. Home is a good place to be. I hear you rustling. Ooh, there's a thing out there. This has total Outlast vibes in it. I'm going to go ahead and run without the flashlight for a while. Don't want to make my presence known particularly, do I? Whatever happens to be roaming out here. Roaming and rustling. I saw light for a second here. Fire over there. Oh, that's not a campfire, that's a thing walking around. Okay, well, we can't go that way. The bridge is out. Alright, guess we'll be going this way. No, we'll take the long way around. Which apparently isn't this way either. Cut the tree! With my hands? What is this? I'm supposed to cut the tree with a bamboo pole? Sorry, bamboo cane? Could be used to collect objects that are out of reach. Like a hand axe, maybe? Or something along those lines? Cut the tree? Can, can I just push it? I guess not. That's a big tree. Okay. Whoa, we're looking for an axe, it would seem. Don't know that I saw one of those. I can't pull anything from here. An axe? I have a stepladder. Does that count? Hmm. Where would an axe be around here? They wouldn't make me go all the way back for it, would they? Bamboo pole. Huh. That's such a weird thing to be asked to do as a gentleman who's walking around a forest that just has a flashlight. I was not expecting to have to cut things in the game. But I don't see a hand axe here, so I suppose we will move on with our lives and go back this way. 
and see if there is actually a hand axe back in this area. I mean, there's logs that are on the ground. Could that imply that somebody was cutting down trees? Uh, maybe, I guess. Hmm. Damn birds. Making a fuss. I hear wolves, too. Don't worry, I have a bamboo pole now. I should be able to handle myself. Let's see, this is a camp. So, would there be an axe around here? There's nobody on the radio anymore. A pew! Do, 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 do. This seems too far back. God, the stupid mushrooms. They look like hands grabbing the tree. Ugh. Lousy game. Lousy darn game. Did I crouch under these before? I don't remember. I guess I did. Hmm. Well, there's no axe back here. know that I can actually use any of these things. Bamboo cane. Collect objects that are out of reach. Small ladder. I, I don't know how to use them. So they must, since they're key items, you must just have to wait for the game to say, you can do this thing that we gave you. Huh. Alright. Oh, hello. Boy, that would be hard to see. Good job, Bamboo Pole, you did it. I got a hafted axe? What's a hafted axe? An old axe used for cutting wood. Hooray! Okay, well... That was... Dude, I knew it! I was just about to say something! You gotta believe me, I was just about to say that. If you've watched enough of my videos, you should be learning your lesson by now. Getting an item and backtracking is when most of the scares are likely to happen. Chip! Because you're going back! Whew. Whew. Chills. Because you're going back through somewhere you previously thought was safe. Uh, it's an interesting kind of psychology thing. I, that, that's the best way I can describe it. Thing. Um, because most people would be like, oh, I've already walked this path, so it's safe. Uh, not me. I've been through enough horror games. Did it just break? Really? Really half an axe? Now you really are half an axe. I guess that's their way of saying, hey, you don't get a defensive weapon. Or offensive, for that matter. Okay, we have a table. That's not spooky at all, just in the middle of a dark forest. Or for that matter, the dark forest, I guess. What is this? Offering. The offerings for saving my progress. The inside might be edible, but I'm not going to try it. What? Piece of paper. How to properly worship spirits. Spirits require consumption. If you manage to communicate with the spirits, uh, they will tell you specifically what they want. If you cannot communicate directly with the spirits, however, it is wise to offer them any food that you can provide. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. The important thing is that you are offering food with a kind and pure heart. Uh, okay. An offering? Uh, sure. Hey, it's how we save. Great. <sighs> Oh, oh. Well, that was intriguing. Do I have limited supply of food? I... It doesn't look like it. So maybe I can feed the hand as often as I want. Interesting. Okay, well, I now know how to save, so I'm going to pause it. Uh, so we can leave the first episode off here, uh, just to make sure the first recording is working fine, and everything is hunky-dory. But we are... We are into home sweet home, and we're in a forest, a very dark forest, so 
This should be exciting, right? Wandering around the woods. I'm sure nothing bad can happen in the woods, right? Probably not. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal!